And we begin with the traffic stop in our region now making headlines across the country. Tonight we're hearing from the Liberty County Sheriff about the stop that involved a sports team from a historically black college that felt profiled after the incident. WSAB's Brian Gallagher has a closer look at the encounter and what the sheriff has to say about it. The Liberty County Sheriff is promising to get to the bottom of this situation, but refused to take questions from the media about what that process would look like. Sheriff William Bowman says his deputies were just doing their jobs when they searched the team's bus. We're going to check y'all's luggage, okay? If there is anything in y'all's luggage, we're probably going to find it, okay? WSAV has now obtained body cam footage showing the traffic stop by Liberty County deputies on April 20th that has gained national attention. Deputies pulled over a charter bus with the Delaware State University women's lacrosse team on board because of a fast lane violation. The team from the historically black college was on their way home from a game in Florida. The deputies found no drugs after searching their luggage. The university's president wrote a letter after seeing a video one of the players recorded saying the deputies tried to intimidate the team into confessing to possessing drugs. But the sheriff says that's not the case. There were several commercial vehicles stopped that morning, including another bus where contraband was located. Before entering the motor coach, the deputies was not aware that this school was a historically black or aware of the race or the occupants due to the height of the vehicle and the tinted windows. The sheriff's office says there was nothing out of the ordinary about the traffic stop or the procedures that followed, but did address the attention it's garnering. Although I do not believe any racial profiling took place based on the information I currently have, I welcome feedback from our community on ways that our law enforcement practices can be improved. The sheriff says that feedback is also welcome from the passengers on the bus that day about what communication approaches the department should consider. In Liberty County, Brian Gallagher, WSAV News 3, on your side. The driver was issued a warning for the lane violation. A spokesperson for Delaware State University told our affiliate in Philadelphia today that they are continuing to investigate the incident and would release their findings and determine how to respond.